Welcome, Jim, to the presentations of the 2020 PR Campaigns teams. Our first team, Blue Team, will be up first, and I will turn you over now to the Executive Director, Chelsea Del Vicio. Good morning, Jim. I'm Chelsea Del Vicio, the Account Executive for the Blue Team. Today I have with me Kayla Grims Grimsley, the Communication Director, Yolene Romero, our Creative Director for Print, Haley Kinchola, our Creative Director for Digital, and Logan Dickey, our Research Director. Logan is going to start us off with our problem statement and situation analysis. Hi, I'm Logan Dickey, and I will be covering the problem statement and the situation analysis. Let's go ahead and get inside this problem statement. So we are aware that Camp Tyler is in need of donations. From 1951 to 2008, Camp Tyler was able to get all of its funding from TISD. There was an exclusivity contract between the two where Tyler ISD provided uh, teachers, they provided maintenance, they provided everything to keep Camp Tyler running. After budget cuts in 2008, it caused funding to be completely cut from Camp Tyler and Camp Tyler was forced to, be, to fend for themselves and to find its own donations and its own money. An issue with that is a lot of the community is unaware of Camp Tyler's separation from Tyler ISD. And this is going to influence donor participation. If donors are unaware of that a place needs to be donated to, it's going to be hard to get the donors. So if we need more outreach, we need public outreach. Without proper PR, Camp Tyler is at risk for closing his doors forever. So action is needed. Let's go ahead and talk about the situation analysis now. So Tyler ISD, sorry, it's a little laggy, so bear with me here. Camp Tyler Outdoor School is one of the oldest running nonprofit camps. And it is located on 385 acres by Lake Tyler in White House, Texas. Not Tyler, it's located in White House. It likes to, it uses nature as a classroom and a teacher to teach kids from kindergarten all the way up to 12th grade. And there's a variety of programs that help these kids. And, and each one is, is targeted for the proper age. Camp Tyler actually started out as Smith County Youth Foundation, and then the name was changed over to, I believe, Camp Tyler Foundation. And then that name was changed after 2008 to Camp Tyler Outdoor School to separate its, its long Tyler ISD, uh, running with Tyler ISD. And although this happened in 2008, most residents still link Tyler ISD and Camp Tyler together. So due to the identity crisis, there's created a lack of, 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 of consistent business as well. Another issue that has plagued Tyler ISD is there's minimal media coverage on Camp Tyler. Back in October of 2019, KETK did a story titled Camp Tyler to host first fall festival on Saturday, where they interviewed Aaron Lacoste, which is the Camp Tyler Marketing and Development Director. The organization was mentioned in an article on mix 931 fmcom in March of 2019, but this was discussing various camps, so this wasn't even exclusive to Camp Tyler. This was about Tyler camps in general. And then in July of 2016, Tyler Morning Telegraph actually paired up with Jim Cunningham to create a YouTube video talking about how TISD is no longer with Camp Tyler, but they Camp Tyler still wants to bring enjoyment and they want to bring education to the outdoors to all the, all the kids. And so that was really one of the only things that's heavily mentioning the the cut away from from to, from TISD back in 2008. And this was in 2016. This was four years ago. Camp Tyler does have sponsorships. They're sponsored by a Variety, uh, Austin Bank, Citizen First Bank, uh, Lil L's Cookies. So they do have some sponsorships, but they also take heavy on individual donors. And these donors are getting harder and harder to find because they're aging. The loyal donors are beginning to age. So they're fleeting and they, as they pass away, we need to latch on to a, a younger audience and that's becoming, and that's more difficult as well. So we have to adjust our plans entirely to focus more on a younger generation. Younger generations are can be a little trickier because they they have a little more bit more distrust 
inside of things like nonprofits. Uh, and there's a lot less ex exposable, disposable income. And there's also an issue of there's not a lot of exposure to Camp Tyler. I live 45 minutes away and I've lived here for nine years. And I had no idea Camp Tyler existed until we began to work with them, actually. So communication is going to be vital. And we need a, a public relations plan that's going to be necessary to, to make sure that, that we stay afloat. Thank you very much. So next we have our goal. Our goal is for Camp Tyler to be recognized as the venue for family and business events and outdoor education in East Texas. And now on to our focus publics. So first we want to target local businesses and organizations. These are for-profit businesses in the East Texas area that could potentially become donors for Camp Tyler. Uh, as Logan mentioned, there are businesses that already donate to Camp Tyler, but, but many businesses may not be aware of uh, benefits of donating to, camp, donating to Camp Tyler or that they can even donate to the camp. A couple of things that they would gain from this is brand visibility, creative approval, return on investment, and most importantly, recognition from both Camp Tyler and the local community. Next, we have camp alumni. So these are adults that have previously attended Camp Tyler, maybe as children. Uh, camp Tyler, uh, sorry, these people have personal memories with Camp Tyler, so they do have that nostalgic thing going on, and they want a continued connection to Camp Tyler. And then our next public is current donors. So these current do donors are more from the older generation that have either participated in Camp Tyler or they identify with the mission of the camp. So like I just said, they know about Camp Tyler's mission and the good things that their donations are going toward because Camp Tyler already does a great job of letting them know and they're very open and honest about that. So these people want Camp Tyler to reach its goal of becoming an outdoor education agenda. So our next focus public is potential donors who would be 55 and older and they are the older generation that have a disposable income but they're not currently donating to Camp Tyler so we want to reach out to them uh, in order to basically reap the benefits of them donating to the camp so that they can help the camp uh, continue to run. Our next focus public is young adults. So this is gonna be anywhere in the age range of 20 to 40 years old. These individuals are people who graduated college and who have probably already started a career. They may have started families of their own. And these young adults are probably gonna be more technologically savvy. So they will be able to um, keep up with Camp Tyler and its growing social media um, publics and its presence. And uh, because they already have a family or are starting one, they could possibly become, in the, become involved with the camp by signing their children up to um, participate in the camp. And our final focus public is the local media. So this is going to include everything from local newspapers, radio stations, and TV stations. And as Logan mentioned, um, there has been minimal media coverage, uh, but there has been coverage about Camp Tyler before. And ultimately what we want from this media is for them to produce uh, newsworthy stories about the camp. So for our first objective, it would be for the local businesses and organizations. Our objective is to convince local organizations that Camp Tyler is a good investment so that they do become donors. And we would do this by Camp Tyler would go out to businesses and make them aware of donation opportunities. They would also show businesses the benefits such as recognitions from the community, positive reputation and advertising through products with Camp Tyler. And our activities for this would be face-to-face -face communica communication with potential donors, invitations to tour Camp Tyler to get businesses onto the ground, and an email list with business executives. The second objective would be for our camp alumni, it would be to persuade alumni to donate so that they can pledge a monthly donation. For this, we would have events and communication tactics, alert camp alumni to events, information tables at events for alumni to check out. 
And then for the activities, we would host a family fun run on Camp Tyler premises. We would do an alumni happy hour, which would include trivia nights. And we would also create an email list through Facebook users on the camp alumni page. And then we would steadily increase that email list to go out to alumni. And the third objective is for our current donors. It is to recognize current donors so that they continue to donate or increase their donations. We want to maintain these current donors. We want our attention to be on new donors too, but we also want to keep our current donors donating. This would be, we would recognize donors through face-to-face -face communication at events, and we would have monthly tactics for communication. We would also express our appreciation for our current donors. The activities that we would have for this would include monthly newsletters to them, dinner for donors. They would have options to buy tables. So at this dinner, we're appreciating them, but they're also contributing to Camp Tyler as well. And then we would also continue the personalization cards that go out to them. So next we would, for the potential donors, we want to communicate to them about the needs of Camp Tyler in the community so that they potentially make donations to the nonprofit. We would do this through things like social events, tangible, tangible communication, and face-to-face -face communication. So a couple of examples would be a waffle, brun waffle brunch that would be uh, hosted on the camp. They would be able to create their own waffles, and then there we would have an uh, option to sign up to donate there, and then a mailing list and a brochure that would be sent out through mail. Next for the young adults, we want uh, for them to generate interest among them so that they can become donors of Camp Tyler. So we would do this through things like online communication, visiting college campuses, and then through personal experience and connection. A couple of our activities would be information tables that would again be set up at colleges and possibly high schools, a PSA email, uh, utilizing more social media and being more consistent with that and then attending a wedding expo so that we do gain more exposure to that part of Camp Tyler. And then lastly for the local media we want to we want them to have completely accurate information about Camp Tyler so that we do get accurate stories written about the profit. We would do this nonprofit sorry we would do this through press kits and interesting events. And a couple of those activities would be a question and answer with Camp Tyler and the local media. And then we would have a press kit for a tour of 75 years that we would do because that is really big news and that's something really big. That's a huge accomplishment for a camp to have. So next we're gonna go on into our evaluations, which is how we uh, are going to evaluate the success of our objectives geared for our focused publics. So for objective number one, which is going to be local businesses and organizations, success in achieving this objective will be determined formally um, based on how many businesses and organizations start to donate. For objective number two, the evaluation uh, for this one, so will be that the success in achieving this objective will be determined formally, and it will be based on how many alumni pledge their support for Camp Tyler. And third, for our objective number three, we have the current donors and success in achieving this objective will be based formally on how many current donors continue to donate or increase their donation amount. And for our fourth objective for potential donors, 55 and up, the success will be achieved based on how many people that are 55 and older start to donate to Camp Tyler. For our young adults, the success in achieving will be achieved on how much young adults participate in Camp Tyler. And then for our local media, it will be based on the accuracy and frequency of local media coverage. And then this is our timeline. Jim, you can see more of this in more detail in our book, as well as the next one, it'll be our budget. And then these are some of our top tools and activities throughout our book, and Kayla is going to explain that a little bit. Okay, so we have uh, some tools and activities that we chose from each objective. Um, they can be seen more in the book as well as more. We did, we did not just do these. There are more uh, to be seen in the book. So here we have brochures, flyers, 
t-shirts, uh, RSVPs, uh, whole nine yards from each objective. And that concludes our campaign plan. And we can bounce over to the book real quick so we can show you. And oh, let me share. Is it sharing? Do y'all see it? Yeah. Oh, I, I have it. Okay. So this is our book. If it'll, okay. So this would be the cover. This is our plan. And here you'll have the table of contents. Can you do it full screen? Um, how, do I do how do I do it full screen? Well, it's, it, it, may, it may already be. Um, it's because I just I can't tell because you're doing it from inside something. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going. OK. This is our cover letter. And then you'll see we have the problem statements. Situa situation analysis, which all of these, like Logan, discuss. It just goes into a little bit more depth and detail. It has some of our research that we produced through how to get, such as how to get young adults through media to, to donate. And then our goal, our focus publics, and these are a bit more in depth and detailed described for you to have a better understanding. Let me see here. Here's our objectives, and you can see, Jim, that we sectioned off into action, target, result, measurement, and objective. And in our measurements, we have a goal of how much y'all should be reaching. And then, let's see here. So we're going to go down. And then our effectiveness, and then you, and you'll see here, too, that we have options, like how measurements of stay the same, slightly increased, significantly increased, et cetera. And then our timeline, it'll go into depth. It is a 18-week timeline. And you can start this at any time that Camp Tyler feels it's best to start with these projects. And then here you have our budget, which we broke down for each event. And then, so, and this is also, Jim, this is also going to be a goal donating sheet as well. So what this is, I know you mentioned that your goal for donations is going to be 250,000. So what we did here, we broke for each objective, what the amount of people you should be shooting for. So 10 people, if you, for example, for an East Texas business, you might wanna go to 10 businesses in East Texas and get them to pledge $500 for Camp Tyler. And then you'll have eight for 200. And if you do this, if you assign each employee a number and a goal that you want that number to reach, it should add up to $7,600. And then you have it for each section as well. And then at the end of the year, your yearly total for donations would be $260,820. So it'd be over your goal, actually. And then so this is where we start with our tools. So this, we have our objective for local businesses. We have our business kit that when you do go out and ask businesses, when you do that face communication, you would want to construct all this into a folder so they can see this is what they would have if they donated this much. This would be a flyer for you to get them to come help. And you can also post these. Those are flyers, but you can also make them into posters. This is a letter to camp to East Texas businesses. These are invitations to come tour. And then at every event that you have, you're going to want a volunteer sign-up sheet. This is so you can keep track of who volunteers, but this is also a good resource. So that way you can get your, their email and start utilizing for every event that you have with them. And then also we're gonna have a fun run. We suggested a fun run and this would be the flyers. See here, and then every participant would get a t-shirt and that's a t-shirt we created. And then this would be flyers that you could post maybe at Starbucks or schools or something, churches, businesses that will allow it for Camp Tyler Trivia Night for alumni. You could post it in your Facebook as well. And then we also provided hmm, questions and the answers to Trivia Night. So that would be fun. We have different rounds and different levels. Let's see here. And then... So this is also a, an example of what a monthly newsletter would look like if you send them out to your current donors. 
And we, you see we're thanking them for making a difference. And then also we created, Jim, here a speech for you to give out to the dinner at, for donor speech. And this is what you would start the evening with. And this would be invitations. And then they would also come with RSVP cards so they could send them back so you know how much to budget for. And these would also, we know that y'all like to send out personalized cards. So what we did is we constructed different themes. So maybe birthdays or New Year's and Happy holidays, so that way you have different ideas for personalized cards. And then for potential donors, we also have the waffle brunch idea where you come out in, when you come out, when they come out to Camp Tyler for a brunch, and that way they can also see the campgrounds, and that would be one way to get donation, donate, donators, donors. Mm. And then let's see here. So you can go back in, and there's more in this and the objectives. And so this is from our group team. And it's our reference page. Thank you for your time.